Hey everyone, as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, a few days ago on December the 30th, I just got my LG V60 ThinQ 5G with the dual screen. And, um, but I also got this uh, Ghost Tech case, which I reviewed in, in this channel. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description. And this was the case that I was going to be, I said I was going to use when I take the V60 out of dual screen case to go work out at the gym or something. I didn't want to take it to the gym and, you know, because it didn't have, the, I didn't get the, uh, my screen protectors in yet. And so today they came in. This is the EGV, uh, tempered glass and film screen protector. So for $12.99, I believe the last time I, I checked it, you get two tempered glass screen protectors, which is perfect because I'm going to use the two tempered glass screen protectors on the outside here of the case and then on the phone itself. And then I'm going to use one of the film um, screen protectors for the inside of the case. Um, this the on the dual screen case, because as you if you guys haven't known or you haven't been keeping up, you can't use a tempered glass screen protector on the dual screen and then a tempered glass screen protector on the uh, LG V60 itself or else uh, you won't be able to close the case and you'll probably if you try to force it close you'll probably break the tempered uh, glass screen protector so what most people have been doing is they put film screen protector here and then glass screen protector on the actual device itself and that it works out well because that way when you do take this out and you want to take it out of the case and just you know rock the V60 by itself, you um, have the best protection with that tempered glass screen protector. Um, I want to show you guys what I did so far with this case. Um, I was thinking of putting a, I was thinking of putting a one of my old skins from my, one of my old phones like my Note Nine. Because it's almost the size of this onto the front here to protect this glass. But I, I realized one of my family members told me that when I was taking their picture for New Year, that the front here being so reflective, hello there, you could actually uh, use it as a viewfinder for the people that you're uh, taking pictures of. Or you can use it for your, you could use it yourself as for like a, on a selfie camera see so then i decided maybe i i won't um put the uh skin on the front here and i'll just uh put the skin on the back so that's what i did i put it one of my old um carbon fiber skins it's a blue carbon fiber from d brand i also have some from it skins like the color shift skins and that's what i was going to put in the front but it's not perfect as you can see it doesn't go all the way down but the beauty of the skin is it, it minimizes all that fingerprints and you know oils that you get on the back and smudges that you get on the back of this case which is uh, if you haven't seen some of the reviews um, you will attract fingerprint and oils on on the back of this case and most certainly the front here will get fingerprints as see you could already see some right there so, yeah, I uh, the cutout was not that big as you can see. So I had to make I had to make it a little bit longer. So I kind of messed up. So here is the original cutout right there, and then you can see there's the um for the rear fingerprint sensor. It had a hole, so I had to fill in that hole, and I couldn't find the the skin on the uh, backing of the D brand. So I, I put the color shift skin where that little hole is so it works out it worked out pretty well it's a good thing i don't really like throw away some of my stuff i'm a pack rat so uh the carbon fiber skin here will minimize all the smudges and uh and even though it doesn't go around all the way it's good it works out pretty well because you you don't really want like all the way around because it helps out with the uh gripping because the, the back of this case does add good grip but it does attract a lot of smudges and oils. So that minimizes it. Anyways, getting back to that. So, yeah, we're going to 
what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to show you the contents of the package. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, do the installation on video. Because if you go to Amazon's page, they already have a very good installation video. And I will put the link in the description on there. So let's get to this review. Okay, so the one the one good thing why I chose this, or the, the main reason why I chose this is because... I didn't have to buy the um, the film screen protectors and the gl uh, tempered glass screen protectors separately. It all came in one box. And another cool thing on this, well, because let's take uh, I'm taking it out of the plastic so you won't get the reflections, is uh, this thing also came with that guide that you put on top of your phone, on your phone screen, so that you can line up the tempered glass screen protector perfectly. So let me let's uh, let's show you the box. So see, it says EGV glass premium glass protector. There's probably a barcode right there to their website or yeah, so or their videos, so you can watch some of the installation videos. And uh, so you can pause that, read it for yourself. On the sides, nothing. But here in the back, they tell you. Uh, here in the back, it tells you who the screen protectors are for. And uh, right here, let's get closer. Um, I guess is their address. Anyways, here they have product features. And another great thing why I got this. See, they have this lifetime guarantee. So that's another good reason to get it. Because you, you, you know it's going to be a good product. Because the company stands behind their product with a uh, lifetime guarantee. So we are going to have to cut this tape right here. So let me go grab a knife. Okay, so let's see what we get. Hopefully we get what they say that um, that's supposed to be in there. Uh, okay. I think I missed something. All right. So you get these uh, stick-on um, foam bumpers. And so these foam bumpers are for when when I watch the video online is for when you're you're installing the film uh, screen protector. You put these on your desk where, where, wherever you're installing it. And hopefully the surface that you're installing it is not like my surface right here cloth. It has to be like a solid wood or metal surface because uh, what what it is for is to keep your phone from moving around when you're um, using the squeegee to. Um, smooth out the uh the film screen protector so this is the film right here see and in here it says uh, attention please watch installation video online before applying film so you get two of the film ones and uh, which is good because if i mess up I, ha I still have the other one and the the film is only going to go on to the uh the actual dual screen itself and then see, here is your guide that you're going to put in front of your, on your uh, V60 screen. And it even tells you there, you, there you have to put, there's the top. And then uh, here on the bottom, it says LG V60. <clears throat> so there's the guide for the two tempered glass screen protectors. And there they are right there. So one of these is going to go onto the actual V60 phone itself. And then the other one is going to go on the outside on the case. So um, that's that. And then here it says stop before installing. Watch the video. And then here is like a brochure for to get a free gift. Probably if you review, you submit a review is what I'm thinking you'll get a free gift anyways in this plastic is probably the uh, your stickers your alcohol wipes and the squeegee so let's see okay see so you get the squeegee right here for the uh film screen protector you get some dust and uh guide stickers these thin ones are to probably like as a guide for the film screen protectors. 
but I, I didn't see him use the guide. And then the other ones are to remove dust. You get a microfiber cloth and then you get your alcohol wipes right there. All of them are alcohol wipes. Where are the dry wipes? It, it didn't come with the dry wipes. Okay, well, that's all you get. Although on the video, it came with dry wipes. But this one, it only has the alcohol wipes and uh, the microfiber cloth, which is fine. You can use a microfiber as a dry wipe, I, I assume. And then you get the, you know, dust removal stickers. So we get for... So for $12.99, we get two film protectors. We get the two tempered glass screen protectors. We get the guide right there. Let's see, I should put this like so. We get the two foam stoppers, free GIF, a card for the QR code in the installation video, a squeegee, your guide stickers and dust removal stickers, and alcohol wipes, and then your uh, microfiber cloth right there. I will get back to you guys. I'm going to see if they have a video on the uh, installation for the uh, tempered glass screen protectors. If they don't, I will try to do one for you guys in this video. Okay, so I went online, and uh, when I scanned the QR code, it took me to... EGV's website, but all the uh, videos f was for the film screen protector installation, and then uh, I believe the camera um, screen installation. They they sell uh, screen protectors for the camera lens. So I'm going to show you guys how to, or I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to install the tempered glass screen protector. The first thing we're going to do is use one of these alcohol wipes. I usually, that's why I usually try to buy one. The tempered glass screen protectors that have a um, a guide. That's the first thing I look for is if, because uh, most of these screen protectors are gonna be made in China from probably the same company, just with different branding. So I try to find the ones that add the most value uh, and make the installation as easy as, as possible. I think Zag or yeah, Zag uh, is one of the bigger names for screen protectors that you, you could even get it like at, at the, uh, at your, uh, you know, like AT&T and T-Mobile or Verizon, they sell them at the store. But the thing is, Zag is like super expensive. They're like around $40 for the screen protectors, but they do come with the guides. So it should be dry. And then they said you want to get this uh, dust sticker. Just fold it like so. And then just go around your phone. Make sure there's no dust. Okay. You don't want to put it too flat because if you do, then uh, you'll get the film from the sticker. So let's see. Let's look up close. See if there's any lint. If my camera will focus, which it doesn't seem to want to. So uh, actually, it looks okay. All right. So now I am going to put the guide and put it where it has the uh, markings for this part where it says top the camera's having a hard time focusing right now there you go so i'm gonna put that here like so and just put it until you hear the click so this way you can't mess up um where you put it because uh you know Remove this plastic film, and then uh, that's weird that there would only be one. So you just use the guides right there from the top and then to the bottom. Okay. 
And there, voila. There you go. So I don't know if you need to use the squeegee on this one. You probably only need to use your uh, microfiber cloth. And uh, just do that. Although I will say I do like the feel of the uh, screen without the uh, without any tempered glass screen protector because I don't know what LG did. Unlike my Note 10 Plus that I like to write with a lot with the S Pen, um, writing on the Note 10 Plus with the S Pen doesn't feel natural only because only because you can feel the glass on the the screen on the V60. It seems like the, it's kind of a sticky how should i say not really sticky but like there's more um resistance when i'm writing on it it's, it doesn't feel that super smooth so it's it's more natural got some bubbles here on the bottom but i'm 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 assuming those will disappear once uh so i can take the guide out now so I can really like just there we go a little bit of that bubble on the bottom but hopefully uh within like a day or so they should be gone once your phone you know the screen the heat and everything builds up so that is that <laughs> see it a little bit of bubbling right here too on the uh, near the teardrop so but uh let's turn my v60 back on and see if uh this screen protector interferes with that uh with our fingerprint reader Okay, I had to restart my phone. Let's test the fingerprint scanner. And, uh-oh. This is not good. Now my fingerprint scanner is not working. Is it because my hands are moist? See, I wish um, LG would have used the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, like what they do with the S20 and the Note 20. But they don't, these optical ones, like if your hands are even any kind of moist or when I, um, when my hands are really warm or hot from like washing them, because I like using hot water, it messes with the reader. And there you go, it's not working. I might have to re-scan my fingerprints probably, so let me try that. Okay, that was a close call. So yeah, all, all I had to do is the, uh, Re-register your fingerprints as you can see now the fingerprint scanner is still working as before Let's try that again See so that is all you have to do once you get the uh, Tempered glass screen protector installed make sure you uh, Rescan your fingerprints. I probably deleted my old ones because now that I have the tempered glass It's not going to work Although I should have just kept them because if I take this off, then it's not going to read them again anyways. But that is how we do that with the uh, tempered glass. And like I so like I said, the uh, the film screen protectors, these ones right here, you can um, watch the ones online. Now, this one, well, it's a case. So how's it going to fit? See? You're not going to be able to use these this guide on the uh, dual screen. How are we going to do this? <clears throat> Plus, is it big enough? So here is the... Uh, yeah, it's going to be way smaller on that dual screen, as you guys can see right there. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be too small. Even if I wanted to use the film ones for the uh, 
outside. It looks like they're going to be too small too. As you can see, they, they won't be they won't go around wide enough. You know what? Screw it. <clears throat> um, some protection is better than no protection, right? And if I change my mind later on and decide to put a skin on the front, then I will show you guys that. But for now, I might as well uh, get my money's worth and use this uh, other glass screen protector. Since it's not really the exact size of the uh, screen on the inside or the Note. Note. Did I just say Note? The, L, the V60 screen. We're just going to try and align it up as best as we can to get as much coverage around this front glass. Move the film. I'm surprised they didn't have stickers on both sides like they do on normal screen protector so i'm going to do it like this i think this way will be easier <laughs> or not okay uh, how am i going to do it without that guide i think because there is some kind of like on this hinge it's kind of beveled and raised i'm going to put more of the glass on the outside part so that um you know just in case of drops It'll probably get better protection that way. Right? Right. Alright, that's how I want it. So, let's try to even out the top and bottom. And then get most of the protection on the, uh, on the outside edges instead of the inside edge where the, where the hinge is. Because the hinge kind of gives it a little bit of a bump. And I got bubble right there. Oh man, I hope I can take that out. Just when I thought I can take out the big bubble. It goes on there. Come on. not going away now it's fully stuck on and I can't get it out or I could but then that's it, it won't stick anymore <clears throat> so that is how it looks right now. Hopefully that bubble will remove on. I'll just start wiping it down more. But for the sake of this video. Or for the, you know. So it don't take too long. So that's how I would put the uh, front screen protector, I guess. So that is that. All in all, um, well, shoot. I still have to install this one, huh? So I'm going to install this off camera. Like I said, on EGV's website. And also on Amazon, they have a real good installation video for that. And I don't want to mess that one up too. Okay, so here we are. Full installation done. I had to go to the bathroom for to install the uh, film screen protector. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to bring a, my camera or tripod into the bathroom and all that stuff. Like I said, go online or on Amazon's webpage for this product because they have an excellent installation video right there. And all you got to do is follow it and have patience and watch the whole video through at least twice. I didn't, um, like, 
I was trying to go step by step when I was watching the video and I messed up the first installation with the film. So you really, really got to pay attention to that video and uh, you'll be good to go. And uh, it's not that bad. Uh, pro tip though, um, I suggest leaving the uh, your phone on and turning on the dual screen because uh, if you don't, you're going to have a hard time finding the notch. That, that was the hardest part is like trying to find that notch when the screen was turned off. So I turned this dual screen on to kind of use the, uh, there's no camera lens right here that you can use as a guide to line up the screen protector. So that's why I had to turn the screen on to get the screen protector lined up. But it's on there. If you guys can see, it's right here. You can barely see it now, but it's good. It, it in, It's in, almost invisible. And it's slightly smooth, but not that smooth, so it'll be good for pen writing. Speaking of pen, um, I don't know if you guys seen my Asus Vivo Book um, review or video. Flip Vivo Book Flip 14, and um, I told you that I before I got the Flip 14, I got a Lenovo Active Stylus that was with my old Lenovo or with a Lenovo laptop that I bought, but ended up returning to get my Aero 15 OLED laptop. This is the Lenovo Active Stylus. I don't know if it's showing. And so, as you can see, it does work with the Note. Or with the Note. Why do I keep, I'm going to have to keep, get used to saying LG V60 instead of Note. And it also works on this part of the screen, as you can see. And with the uh, screen protector, it doesn't uh, mess up the uh, writing experience or drawing experience, as far as I can tell, as far as feel. It feels almost like the, the V60 screen, which I was telling you guys about, how it has a good feel. Almost like there's an invisible film there, like a paper-like film that they sell on uh, Amazon or elsewhere. So here is the one for the back or the front screen, as you can see. Um, the bubbles are actually kind of getting out. You actually can use the squeegee. Where is that squeegee? I might have left it in the bathroom. I'll be back. You can use the squeegee to uh, like to try to squeeze out air and the bubbles on the screen. So here's the one for the front, as you can see. And like I said, it's better to have that protection, some protection than no protection at all. So that's why I installed it. Maybe later on, uh, I might get, I might just put a skin on the front of this um, cover because I don't like uh, how it's such a fingerprint magnet. And see, I already got fingerprints right there. But like I said, um, my family, one of my family members pointed out that it's a good um, viewfinder when you can see the reflections. So you can, you know, if you're doing a selfie on your own from with the rear camera or filming with the rear camera uh, or taking pictures of people with the rear camera, they can actually kind of frame themselves. But yeah, that is it, the installation video or the video for this uh, EGV glass. Um, all in all, a pretty good product. I mean, for $12.99, you're getting both tempered glass and film, although you only get two of each. So I don't know how that is for you, for the value, for the money. Because I know the other ones, like, uh, I can't remember the name, but there's the other ones that was like under $10 and you get six film screen protectors, but you don't get tempered glass. And the cheapest tempered glass screen protectors I saw was I think around $8 on Amazon. So that is it for this video. This is the EGV tempered glass and film screen protector kit. And yeah, you get everything you need. Although they did not, I'm gonna dock them a star. For not uh, including the dry wipes, you only got you only get the uh, wet wipes, which is the alcohol wipes, and then the uh, the microfiber cloth. But the good thing is you do get this guide for the V60. That's the most important part is your V60 itself. So you can place it on top of the V60 and install it. Of course, you can't put it on top of the cover because the cover is too big. But for installing it on the V60, super easy, as you guys can see in the video. 
so that is it if you guys got some value from this video please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at the workout geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips till next time everybody take care stay safe stay healthy and we will see you soon for another video have a wonderful day